Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this tropical sunset manicure. If you love nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. The colors that I'll be using for the gradient are from Zoya. This kind of plum purple is Tara. The red is Janelle. The orange is Cam. And the yellow, which I'll also be using as my base color, is Darcy. Once I've finished off the gradient, I'm going to be adding a layer or two of the scattered hollow taco and then stamping with one coat black. added a layer of sesh beat just to make sure that my base color doesn't get pulled up when I begin stamping and now I'm going to protect around the edges of my nails using liquid latex. As usual for a gradient I just have a makeup sponge and I'm going to be using the short edge which is about the same length as my nails. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the colors on here starting with the darkest and working to the lightest just using a very small amount of that dark purple and trying to blend the others out on the sponge here a little bit. Then I'm going to be starting with the yellow toward my cuticle, go ahead and apply it, and work across all my nails. For my stamping today, I'm going to be using the Moyu London Tropical Collection number no. 3 plate and I'm going to be using these flowers and leaves right here. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using Hollow Taco One Coat Black as my stamping polish. Go ahead and apply a good amount of that to the plate. Then I've got my Moyu London scraper and stamper and I'm going to go ahead and line up the flower for my cuticle and the leaves towards the tip of my nail like that I actually I should have gotten a little bit more of that stamp but I don't think you're gonna notice on the pinky and thank goodness we have latex to capture that tropical word I have a small lint roller for cleaning my stamper and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my nails
since I decided to use my latex through the whole process, before I actually remove it, I want to make sure to go around the edges and just make sure that everything is detached so that the peel is a little bit easier. If you don't do this, you, you may have problems and you may regret it, but just make sure that everything is detached. Then you can go in with a tweezer. Well, tweezers optional. And go ahead and peel. You can see a little bit of what I was afraid would happen at the cuticle here. You have a little bit of leftover polish because it was dried before you removed the latex. But if you do a good job breaking the edge, that should not happen. Once you've finished removing the latex, you can go back around the edges for close-up cleanup using a brush dipped in acetone. Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish everything off with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I really think this came together perfectly. The gradient really blended together well. I'm so glad I decided to go with two coats of the Scattered Hollow Taco, and I think this stamp just accents everything perfectly. Of course, my ring light does wash out the hollow a little bit, and you guys seem to enjoy the flashlight time, so let me turn down this a little and reach for my flashlight while I let you know that if you would like to see the live stream archive, the extended tutorial, the blooper reel, so to speak, that will be up here on YouTube in the next couple of days. Of course, if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash ColetteMSLP. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this one down in the comments. If you enjoyed, I hope you'll leave a like. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.